Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. This is going to be a general reading, so it might not necessarily resonate with everyone. That's okay. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is the Empress energy. Um, the Empress energy is the energy that is crowning your reading. This is a very feminine energy. It's a very nurturing energy. It is an energy of abundance. This might be the perfect time for you guys to take up something new that is going to give you a chance to access um, this part of yourself, access the connect with your feminine energy, right? Connect with your sense of taste, touch, smell, sound, sight. Um, It also might be a good idea for those of you creatively, artistically uh, inclined to discover maybe a different approach to expressing yourself, expressing your talents, expressing your emotions. Um, there is this energy of you entering a phase in your life where you're, it's naturally abundant. It's you have everything you need to lead to live a very comfortable lifestyle um, it is this energy of a lot of things coming to uh, fruition for you a lot of things uh, appearing in abundance so it's like this energy of abundance is surrounding you right now you want to build on this energy so that you can create more of it in your life I also see that there is something here that you have been working on for quite some time because the suit of pentacles is a slow moving energy. So this is, I think you've put a lot of, a lot of yourself into this project or into this idea or into whatever this is. I think it's been years in the making. You've been working on this. You've been chiseling at this away for years and I feel like it's finally coming to fruition. I feel like it's finally going to be abundant i see you at a point where you're reflecting it's like you're stopping and pausing you're in an energy of gratitude you're very grateful for this wish coming true or this something he finally taken off for you um and it's like you're pausing to reflect on all the abundance that stems from this that stems from this project or that stems from this opportunity or that stems from this goal i feel like you're going to be very grateful you're going i just see you being very you're receiving a reward or you're receiving an opportunity or you're receiving a moment where you get to shine There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of creative energy. There's new ideas coming forth. There's, um, I feel like there's manifestations that are flowing to you. I feel like there's one 
opportunity in particular that is going to bring you a lot of stability in your life. And I think that there is, it's like the universe is giving you something special here. The universe is giving you an opportunity. The universe is giving you an invitation or an offering of some sort. Um, and whatever this is, this could be, and it's just around the corner, by the way. It may have been a long time coming, but I feel like once it shows up, it's going to happen very quickly for you. It could be a relationship, though. It could be someone that shows up in your life who is a very stable energy and who wants a long-term committed relationship, okay? Um, it could be a new beginning of some sort, okay? It could be a new beginning in love and romance. It could be a new beginning in career. It could be an opportunity that is tied into your career. But this energy indicates that there is an opportunity here for a lot of growth or like a financial gain. Your money is... Your money is definitely, your like, financial situation is improving. Um, I feel like you're going to be successful. I feel like you're going to be very successful with whatever this is. But just be careful with the Five of Swords energy that it's not at the expense of others. So just be careful that, you know, make sure that your actions don't impact anyone in a negative way. Because it feels like you're rising to the top. It feels like... You're being noticed it feels like you're being handed something here um, there could also be uh, the person that I'm connecting to you could also feel like you're in the middle of some sort of conflict or some sort of betrayal and an opportunity stems amidst all of that chaos an opportunity for like a way out or an offering of some sort, like a a resolution, someone extending the olive uh, branch, or an opportunity for financial gain. So just, like, I feel like success and prosperity is yours for the taking. And I feel like there's, Especially for fin like financial gains. I feel like there's something key. Like your finances are definitely improving. Like I feel like the energy there is shifting. You're going to have some sort of opportunity to make a lot of money. Or an idea or a project that you have that has stayed with you for a long time, guys, is going to make you a lot of money. feel like there's someone out there who's very um you've got a fear of losing what you already have and i feel like you're, you're clinging on to your possessions or you're clinging on to your materials or um you're clinging on to something you might be reluctant to share something with someone because you fear someone might steal it you fear someone might i don't know infringe on your property rights um it's a situation where I feel like, yeah, there's this fear of letting go. There's also some sort of, okay, whatever it is that you're clinging to, I feel like it's causing you a lot of suffering and it's causing you a lot of unrest. There's something here that you're scared to let go of. Or there's something here that you're clinging on to. But I think you're clinging on to this because it's a fear, but it's also an insecurity. You could also be holding on to a resentment, an energy of resentment, an energy of betrayal, or someone you were involved in a conflict with someone, and I think you're still holding on to what this person says, or what they said, or what happened here. You need to let that go, okay? Because whatever it is you're holding on to, it feels very weighty, especially with the Ten of Wands energy. Um, it feels extremely weighty here. So let it go. That releasing of whatever this is is going to be very freeing, is going to be very cathartic. 
I'm seeing that there's a really strong overload of emotions in your energy. There's a lot of, you feel really overwhelmed, you feel really, um, like this could be a burnout, this could be you're overburdened, maybe you have set some sort of tasks or goals, but it just feels like you're very overwhelmed. It feels like you've, there's just too much to do. Um, you could be taking on a lot more extra work. You might be immersing yourself in a job or a task, but it's impacting your health. It could be impacting your physical health or your mental or emotional health. I also feel like there's something, you're pursuing a sort of a goal of some sort, but I think you should not sacrifice your emotional well-being in pursuit of whatever this is. Um, I'm also seeing that there is a message of hope and encouragement in the cards for you. Um, there is positive change that is coming, you guys. There is positive change that is coming to, I think, more than one area of your life, especially to your financial, your career uh, situation. Um, I also feel like with your emotions as well, There is a situation in your life where I feel like a balance is going to be restored or a harmony is going to be restored. I also feel like there are some of you that have, and honestly, I just keep going back to this because it is this ID or it is this project or it is an opportunity that especially ties in with success, abundance, prosperity, career, okay? Um, it could be a situation that involves love, but I feel like it's more an energy of like finances and career. Um, and I feel like success is on its way to you. You are going to be very successful. And I think that for some of you, you've waited a long time for this. And I think especially for those of you that have worked on something for years, once this shows up for you, it's going to happen very quickly. Um, people from the outside are going to think that you're an overnight success. But of course, you yourself will know and people around you as well who witnessed you put in all these years of hard work will know that, you know, there's no such thing as overnight success, that it's taken you blood, sweat and tears. It's taken you a long time to get to, to get to this stage. So be patient be patient there is positive news there is positive news there is an offer an opportunity it cannot miss you because it is meant for you and this is definitely creating this is creating an energy of abundance again this particularly is going to benefit your material world your financial world um but I think because of this positive energy, it's also going to spill over in different areas of your life. There is good luck, good news, good luck, good message, something that is arriving to you. And I see that there's going to be a moment where you're going to pause and you're going to really reflect and just take stock of all the hard work that you poured into this project. There's an opportunity that is beginning for you between this, like between you and whatever this is that you've been working on. And there is potential for a lot of abundance. I feel like your hard work and your patience is paying off. And I feel like something here is finally coming to fruition. Okay, these are the messages I have for you. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.